annual novena of the miraculous medal. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, you did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Lord Jesus Christ who has vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles, the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly employ her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign, God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Lavare. Grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work, amen. The Memorare. Remember, her most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the world incarnate, Despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O oh Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us, then, a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode. We are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin, Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. 
O Mary, conceived without sin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. By the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, I will dwell in darkness my hand will save. I will make the stars of night, I will make their darkness
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear family, this is a beautiful, blessed morning, and we come together to worship our God. Whenever the song, Here I Am, Lord, is sung, I remember the day of my ordination. That was the song that I chose. So today is a special day for me as uh, Dr. Bernie sang this song this morning. So as we come together, let us acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope Saint Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, you must say what is consistent with sound doctrine, namely, that older men should be temperate, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, love, and endurance. Similarly, older women should be reverent in their behavior, not slanderers, not addicted to drink, teaching what is good so they may train younger women to love their husbands and children to be self-controlled, chaste, good homemakers under the control of their husbands, so that the word of God may not be discredited. Urge the younger men similarly to control themselves, showing yourself as a model of good deeds in every respect, with integrity in your teaching, dignity, and sound speech that cannot be criticized, so that the opponent will be put to shame without anything bad to say about us. For the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godlessness and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we wait the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of the great God and of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his way. 
the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. The just shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. The salvation of the just belongs to The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the apostles, Who among you said to your servant who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, prepare something for me to eat? Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. You may have been with someone who is very, very controlling, and the person commands you to do what he or she wants to be done, and how he or she wants it to be done. It is easy for us to try to control others, but it is a great challenge to control ourselves. And some people think it feels great to control others and powerful, but the real strength lies in our ability to control ourselves. And sometimes when we are very controlling, it is a sign that we lack self-control. The first reading today tells us that it is consistent. It is in accord with sound teaching, sound doctrine, to be self-controlled. And it says older people should be self-controlled. And the older women should teach the younger ones to be self-controlled. Now, you don't give what you don't have. If you are not self-controlled, how can you teach younger ones to be self-controlled? If you tell your children, don't talk too much, learn to be silent, 
And then they watch you talk without restraint, gossip without self-control. They are going to learn to gossip by watching you. So today, ask yourself, am I self-controlled? What is it that controls me? Do my emotions control me? Or do I control my emotions? Do my feelings control me? Or do I control my feelings? Does my mind control me? Or do I control my mind? There was a story of one young man who kicked his wife, and the wife passed out. Before they rushed her to the hospital, she had died. And the man was crying, I'm sorry. I didn't intend to kill my wife. It was out of anger. The anger controlled him, instead of him controlling his anger. There are so many people that suffer from certain addictions. It's because they allowed their desires to control them. And then they become slaves to their desires. It's pulling them wherever the desires want them to go. They have lost control of it. What is it that controls us? You know, self-control is like a brake in your car. When you are going to the wrong direction, you apply your brake. Or when you see some danger along the way, you apply your brake. Now, what if you don't have brake in your car? Then it will be a car crash. In the same way, in our spiritual life, if you do not have self-control, it becomes a spiritual crash. It is simple to examine ourselves, to know where we are, how we are growing in the virtue of self-control. You can do a simple test to yourself. When you turn on your television and it is time to pray, if you can turn off your television and sit quietly to pray, then you know that you're learning the way of self-control. Or you have your smartphone knowing when to stop and do things that you need to do. And then you know that you are growing in self-control. When you are talking, if the conscience tells you it's time to stop, and you stop to let others talk, then you know that you're learning self-control. Some of us don't have controls in our words. Once we open our mouths, anything can come out, and then we regret. I didn't know when I said this. It's because we lack this virtue. So my dear brothers and sisters, in a world that seems to lose its moral compass, in a world that seems to have gone out of control, ask the Holy Spirit to give you the virtue of self-control. As God's beloved people, we turn to him now with our prayers and petitions. That all members of the church may be conformed to the Spirit of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are right. That God's spirit of justice may be upon national leaders, guiding them in their service to their people. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord, in his great mercy, may bring about an end to the scourge of human trafficking. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pray. That this community of faith may grow in love and zeal for the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of our community, may unity and charity erase all sins of hatred and division among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed, especially those mentioned at the Old, Novena, Old Souls Novena, may soon find their place at the table of Christ's heavenly feast. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your mercy, we ask that you hear our prayers today through your Son, Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the offerings we make here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper, and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift it up to the Lord. And us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Leo the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we we'll sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Namaste of When we eat this bread and drink this song, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Philippe, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are you. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Oh, dear family, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy that you should enter into my roof, for I will say a word of my soul.
Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. Be to God.